Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be carrying on with our video game series and I'll be showing you how to do a combo attack. So what exactly is a combo attack? It's quite typical in games to have a sequence of moves that the player does. So if you push the button once you'll get an attack and the more you push the button the further down that sequence it will go. At any point as the player you could decide not to push the button in which case you'd have a return to idle animation. So for this video we're going to be just doing a simple combo. Obviously the more complicated your combat system gets you'll start to put in different combinations to get different moves but let's just look at a basic one for now. So the first step is to choreograph the moves. Now there's a number of ways to do this. You can either scour YouTube trying to find clips or you can actually video yourself. Now I would suggest videoing yourself because it's a quicker way of coming up with the moves. Even if you're not very good with weapons, swords and stuff, it's, it's always a good idea to do it. So I've gone outside and filmed some reference here. So because I want to keep this combo quite simple for the tutorial, I'm going to use this end one here. So here we are inside of Maya and I've gone ahead and loaded in the video reference as an animated texture. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, I'll quickly show you. So you create a polygon plane and then you assign a new texture to it and you come across to here and click use image sequence then point to the folder with all your images so in your video software you need to export individual images with this naming convention here so the name of your file dot then the numbers dot jpeg and this will allow it to load in anything else it will not accept so the first thing we're going to do is start with our key poses okay so we're going to use this reference here to start blocking in these moves.
So using the video reference, I've gone through and blocked out the key poses. As you can see, it's already starting to work quite well. Um, so I just want to go through a couple of issues I had with this. So when you're dealing with a character that has a two-handed weapon, you're going to find some very unnatural shapes going on, um, especially in this trailing arm here because it's always parented. So you're going to get some very unnatural shapes. So I do suggest that you rig it in such a way as this hand here is keyable so that you're able to put it into a more natural position. If you'd like to know how to do that, I've got another tutorial on my channel that explains how to set it up like this. So be sure to check that out. So yeah, in the next video, I'm gonna break this animation down even further, add even more in-betweens before we go into spline mode, and then we're gonna take it through to final. And at this point, it's, I'm really gonna hide away the reference, okay? Because this I don't wanna rotoscope this. That shouldn't be the point of using video reference. I'm not trying to rotoscope it, I'm trying to make it look better than what we've got in the reference. So for the next video, this will be hidden away and I'm just gonna be concentrating on the character. I will refer back to this, but uh, the timings, although they're quite good on the reference, they would not work in a video game. Okay, so there are certain patterns that need to be followed to you know, create a responsive kind of combat system. So we'll, we'll talk about timing and spacing on the next video and how to uh, make your animations look a lot stronger. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.